Well, I'm going to begin by asking about where this idea kind of originated from. How many years ago did you come up with it? Was it always the idea to one day turn it into a screenplay? Um, it's always hard to answer that question because, um, you know, you don't really know exactly w where it starts. Uh, and I, I also work very closely with a with a Themis Filippo that I wrote this film together and I've written Dog to the Nalps with him as well. So it always starts, you know, after having made Dog to with him, it just, we just start discussing, you know, what it is that we want to do next. Um, so... Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a long process and a dialogue between the two of us about you know things we observe around us or uh, you know small ideas about uh, you know parts of a story or uh, a situation that we're interested in. Um, so you know, this time around, we just wanted to do something about relationships and love and you know ask questions about those things and uh, yeah, we we slowly try to develop a structure that would explore th those themes. Because, I mean, it's, it's really funny in part. It's very sad and it's quite dark. And I was just wondering uh, how you were able to remain so kind of, was it quite challenging, sorry, to remain quite funny and at the same time the overriding sentiment was quite a sad one? It's, it's always hard to find the balance between those things. I mean, you don't really know and you, you, you write a screenplay and you think that it's, it's, it's correct, you know, what you're trying to achieve and then... You, know, you choose the actors and the locations and you start filming and then you edit and you add music or voiceover or this or that. So the tone changes, you know, throughout the process. So it's really hard to understand, um, you know, what, what the right amount of, you know, darkness or, 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 or funny or uh, violence or whatever uh, will will make up the tone that you're after in, in the end but you just have to try and, and take your distance from it and what I what I like to do also is take some time off while I'm editing so I'm I'm able to go away for a few days you know and and look at it again so it's it's a constant thing trying to 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 get the correct balance and it's it obviously is different for every person because I mean people's perception is quite different uh, so someone might find it much funnier and someone else might, might, might find it much um, sadder because of his own personal experiences and uh, background. Yeah. So, will you tell me about sort of creating this world visually? Because, I mean, it's, not, it's obviously set in a kind of dystopian sort of near future, but at the same time it's, it's quite subtle, the changes, the outfits, the whole look of it. What was, it. was it quite enjoyable but also quite challenging to, to try and create this whole sort of odd world? Yeah, for, for me, it's not necessarily near future or, or dystopian. Uh, what we try to do is uh, make a world, uh, come up with a world which is very familiar to us and it feels like now, but it just has different rules. So uh, that, that's what we were trying to do. Uh, we weren't trying to, to come up uh, to design a, a futuristic world or, or anything like that. I think it was important uh, for the film to work, that it felt really, uh, really close to us. I mean, it's a real kind of who's who of British acting talent. I was just wondering if you were relying on a very good casting director. Are you aware of many of these performers already, the Olivia Coleman, Michael Smiley, because they're two of our sort of finest. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I was aware of them, and, and generally the process was... You know, thinking about people that I'd love to work with uh, uh, and try and see how they can fit into, you know, our world or the characters that we've created. Um, and, and the other thing, it's it's not just British, it's just people from around the world. Uh, you know, it's Irish, uh, Irish, uh, French, Greek, uh, American. Um, so it, it was a really um, um, uh, interesting process to just you know, think of people uh, that you that you admire and, and see if they can actually be in your film. So, I mean, this, this, the Lobster is sort of opening up your, your work to a sort of whole new audience because I, I think, you know, do you, I'm just wondering if you think this could potentially almost, even just um, without realising, kind of dictate your decisions of what you might go into next, knowing there's a whole kind of new mainstream crowd that are kind of behind you, or if, or if you always stay kind of true to your roots and whatever your kind of artistic preferences are. I, I try to not think about these things when I'm deciding what I'm doing next, and that's also why we just try and 
get on with the next thing as soon as possible. And usually I, I, we start writing something the minute we, 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 we finish filming. Uh, and while I'm editing, I, I'm thinking of what it is we're going to do next. So, uh, yeah, I just try to do whatever I find interesting uh, and engaging. So and talking of next, the favourite is obviously your, your next project. I was just wondering uh, what that one's all about and who's currently attached. Uh, it's uh, it's probably the next one, and it's a it's a film that takes place during Queen Anne's reign. It's about three women in the court of Queen Anne, um, and no one's officially attached. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> just trying my luck. <laughs> so just <laughs> and very quickly, um, what animal would you turn into, and why? If you were put in the same position as our characters in the movie. Um, well, I, I usually say, you know, I'd like to become a bird if I had to, because I like to fly. Good answer. I'd be a cat. Yeah? Yeah, I like lazing around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!